is Adam Lane with PocketNow.com. We're going to take a look at the software tour of the T-Mobile G1. Okay, so first thing I turn it on, and we have a screen lock screen that says press menu or unlock to place an emergency call or menu to unlock. There we go. And I have my security pattern turned on. This is an option. And we have to draw a pattern here to unlock. And there you go. Now, if you look at the screen here, you can see it's pretty easy to guess my pattern by the uh, marks on the screen there. So it's really not secure at all. <laughs> Very easy to guess. Might as well just not even use that. So here's our home screen. And we have a clock, some icons. If you go like this, you can go to other sides of the home screen and add more icons or widgets to there. There's a Google search. Oops. How did that happen? And you can tap and hold on it, and it's going to bounce a little bit, and you can move these things around. You can drag it out there, and that's going to go to the trash. Turns red. So you see regular icons on desktop. Up here is a clock, battery level, signal strength, basic status bar things, just like Windows Mobile there at the top. You also get email notifications, uh, text message notifications, application install notifications up here as little icons. And in order to see them, you have to drag down like that and then you see a list. Unfortunately, you don't see calendar appointments until after they've already happened, so there's no way of knowing what your next appointment is here. Down here, we have a little gray button with an arrow. That's basically our start menu, which gives us applications. And you can scroll through them. There's a scroll bar indicator over here. I installed a few extras. Uh, first, I'm going to show you keyboard mode. It's going to slide open. And we have our trackball. can change selection of icons. The menu button brings up add wallpaper search notifications and settings. So I can access those. And I can scroll to this little button over there, the uh, programs menu press that and it will open. Now the cool thing is I can all right. Oh, okay. If I move the cursor in there, I can search for applications by typing the first letters of them. So I can get to the calendar pretty easily. If I don't have anything selected and I start typing something it goes to the phone dialer and brings up that contact, just like Windows Mobile and BlackBerry. So that's a really easy way to, to call somebody. And there we go. It's calling. So that's pretty nice. Now, so the home screen looks really nice, but once we go into one of these applications, it turns into just black background, white text, shades of gray, orange highlight. Very large buttons for your fingers, but pretty boring design. There's Gmail. Looks different white background with black text. A little inconsistent. Calendar, even more different. Text messaging. Black background, white text.
white background, black text. Well, that's it for now with the uh, part one of the T-Mobile G1 software tower.